We're going to be learning two easy steps to be able to round to the nearest 10 and 100. In order to have an interactive experience, you'll need a partner. So pause the video and make sure you find one. We're going to start rounding by 10s. If you're going to become an expert at rounding by 10s, there are a few basics we'll have to cover. Let's get started. One of the things we'll need to practice is counting by 10s. First, we'll start at 10 and count all the way to 100. Then, we'll try starting at different numbers. I want you to notice that all of the multiples of 10 that we count by end in 0. Count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Start with 120. Count with me. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170. Start with 180. Count with me. 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230. Start with 200. Count with me. 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250. Start with 310. Count with me. 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360. Another thing we need to understand is place value through hundreds. Look at the place value chart to the right. Which digit is in the tens place? How many tens is that? Did you say four is in the tens place? Did you say that four tens? That's worth 40, isn't it? Let's look at another number. Which digit is in the tens place? How many tens is that? Did you say that five is in the tens place? And did you say that that's five tens? Five tens is worth 50. We'll do one more. Which digit is in the tens place? How many tens is that? Did you say that there's a two in the tens place and it's worth two tens? Two tens is equal to 20. Good job. We're gonna learn rounding in two easy steps. Step one, find the multiples above and below. Step two, look to the right and round up or round down. Let's practice rounding to the nearest 10 first. Let's round this number to the nearest 10. If we're counting by tens, which 10 would come just before and just after on the number line? Pause the video and discuss this with your partner. Now we know which multiples of 10 the number 42 is in between. 40 is down below and 50 is up above on the number line. 45 is right in the middle. Where would 42 go? Point to it on the number line. Will we round down to the multiple of 10 below or round up to the multiple of 10 above. If we look down below on the number line, we see 40 down below and 50 up above. The ones place can help us. Five and above, we round up. Four and below, we round down. If we look at 42, we see a two in the ones place. The two tells us four and below, we round down. So we know that 42 rounded to the nearest 10 is 40. Let's round this number to the nearest 10. If we're counting by 10s, which 10 would come just before and just after on the number line? Pause the video and discuss this with your partner. Now we know which multiples of 10 the number 358 is in between. 350 is below and 360 is above. We see 355 right in the middle. Where would 358 go? Point it out on the number line. 
will we round down to the multiple of 10 below or round up to the next multiple of 10? We see 350 down below and 360 up above. The ones place can help us. Five and above we round up, four and below we round down. Hmm. I'm looking in the ones place of 358. I see an eight. That's five and above. So I know 358 rounded to the nearest 10 is 360. Let's round this number to the nearest 10. For counting by tens, which tens would come just before and just after on the number line? Pause the video, figure it out with your partner. Now we know which multiples of 10 the number 124 is in between. We can see 120 right below and 130 right above. 125 is right in the middle of those two. So where would 124 go? Point to it on the number line. Will we round down to the multiple of 10 below or round up to the next multiple of 10? The ones place can help us. Five and above, we round up. Four and below, we round down. If I look at the ones place, I can see a four in the ones place of 124. So that tells me I'm rounding down. 124 rounded to the nearest 10 is 120 or 12 tens. Now we are going to practice rounding to the nearest 100. We'll practice counting by hundreds and review place value again. This time we'll add in thousands. First, we'll start at 100 and count all the way to 500. Then we'll try starting at different numbers. I want you to notice that all of the multiples of 100 that we count by end in two zeros. Double zero! Count with me. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500! Start with 600. Count with me. 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000! Start with 1,100. Count with me. 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400. Another thing we need to understand is place value through thousands. Look at the place value chart to the right. Which digit is in the hundreds place? How many hundreds is that? Did you say that there's an eight in the hundreds place? And that's eight hundreds? That's worth eight hundred. Let's try another number. Which digit is in the hundreds place? How many hundreds is that? Did you say there's a three in the hundreds place? And that's three hundreds? That's worth three hundred. Let's try one more. Which digit is in the hundreds place? How many hundreds is that? Did you say there's a three in the hundreds place? Did you say that that's three hundreds? That's worth three hundred. I could buy a lot of cute shoes with that. Let's round this number to the nearest 100. If we're counting by hundreds, which hundred would come just before and just after on the number line? Pause the video and talk it over with your partner. Now we know which multiples of 100 the number 842 is in between. Below it on the number line is 800. Above it on the number line is 900. Then 850 is right in the middle. Where would 842 go? Point to it on the number line. Will we round down to the multiple of 100 below or round up to the next multiple of 100? The tens place can help us. Five and above, we round up. Four and below, we round down. Hmm, 
I'm looking at the tens place in 842. I see a four. That's four and below, so I know I'm rounding down. 800 is down below 842 on my number line. So I know 842 rounded to the nearest 100 is 800. Let's round this number to the nearest 100. If we are counting by hundreds, which 100 would come just before and just after on the number line? Pause the video and figure that out with your partner. Now we know which multiples of 100, the number 364 is in between. Down below it on the number line, we see 300. Up above it on the number line, we see 400. Right there in the middle, we see 350. So where would 364 go? Point to it on the number line. Will we round down to the multiple of 10 below or round up to the next multiple of 100? The tens place can help us. Five and above, we round up. Four and below, we round down. If I'm looking at the tens place of 364, I see a six. Well, that's five and above. So I know 364 rounded to the nearest hundred is 400. Let's round this number to the nearest hundred. If we are counting by hundreds, which hundred would come just before and just after on the number line? Pause the video and have a collaborative conversation with your partner to figure it out. Now we know which multiples of 100 the number 1,375 is in between. Down below, I see 1,300. I could also say that's 1,300. Up above, I see 1,400. I could also say that's 1,400. 1,350 is right in the middle. So where would 1,375 go? Time to point to the number line. Where is 1,375? Will we round down to the multiple of 100 below or up to the next multiple of 100? The tens place can help us. Five and above, we round up. Four and below, we round down. I'm finding the tens place in 1,375 and I see a seven. That's definitely five and above. So I know I'm rounding up. 1,375 rounded to the nearest 100 is 1,400, or remember, I could always say 1,400. Time for an important review. Remember, rounding has two easy steps. Step number one, find the multiples above and below. Step number two, look to the right and round up or down. Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher Tube. Teachers, please check the description for linked products and don't forget to like and subscribe. Created using Powtoon.